guys for today's project I thought we'd do something a little different so I've got this gorgeous image here by Saturated Canary and it's called So Sorry and I thought it might be rather fun to actually colour the image using the computer so I've got my Photoshop program but any kind of digital photo editor or probably even your Windows Paint program may well do it, they usually come freely installed, you would be able to do this. So I thought we'd have a go and see how it turns out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the flood fill key which is just over here and it's um, the little bucket. So we'll use that to flood fill. Now we're not going to get necessarily all the shading that we get if we hand coloured but I still think we're going to get quite an interesting effect. So I think the first thing I want to do is the little jumper. So I'm going to click on the little bucket over here so it's the paint bucket tool and then I'm going to click on my colour here and I'm going to change it to a red. So probably something like that will be just fine. Okay, so then I'm literally going to take my little paint bucket and you can just see the little tool there and I'm going to click and that will automatically fill that section. Then I'm going to go to the next section and I'm going to fill that so you can see it fills it up nicely. So I don't want to cover the line of my balloon here so what I'm going to do is come to that in a minute and fill in this gap even more carefully so I'm going to zoom in so then clicking on that as well then I'm going to go up to my zoom key and I'm going to zoom this in even more and then I'm going to go back to my paint bucket and we're going to just go in on those two little bits there now I want to do these little dots in here and I just think this is a really fun way of, of doing this and getting a really nice effect. Now you can see on that one it hasn't filled in at all properly so I'm just going to keep clicking until it fills up a little bit more. Okay now we're going to go down here and we're going to do the bottom of the jumper here. So now I know you can see here there's a gap so we know that when we click on that that is going to fill not only that stripe but the one next door. I think that would look quite cool. So I'm going to do that one in the red as well. Then that one. And then this one. This one. Just playing with it really. So I think that looks really nice. I like the way that the jumper's done there. So I think the next thing I want to do is her um, skirt. So I just put the number in there that I've copied. Or you can use your little pointer and click on the co any colour you like. So you might have a photograph or another image that you've used and you like a particular colour in it or you want to match up so you can do it that way. So I like that colour. I think that's going to work well for the skirt. So let's just fill that in. Now I'm not too bothered about filling those white pieces in. I quite like that, the way that looks. So that there's enough of a wide gap so that the little bucket is easy to get into that section because we don't want to get rid of the this part here because that's the strings and I don't really want that to go. So next thing I need to do is the little leggings. I think they're kind of like jean legs. Now what we've got here is a slight potential problem. You see we've got a blank piece here. So the thing is if we flood fill this area this is what's going to happen okay because there's no bottom to these trousers so it flood fills the whole area because it doesn't have a boundary so we're going to go to our paint brush tool which is just over here so we just want the normal paint brush and then I'm quite happy with the size etc and we're going to use the color that we're going to be flood filling with so then I'm just going to go across and then just harder to do when I'm over this angle and then just go across like this and again it doesn't need to be massively straight all you need to make sure is that you absolutely definitely fill in that gap and then we're just going to do the same the other side you don't want any gaps showing because otherwise it'll still flood through okay 
and then I'm going to go to my little bucket tool as I did before and I'm going to flood fill and buff. Now, and you can really see how that's coming together really nicely and um, I just think it looks really effective already and I love the colours. Okay, so the next thing I think I want to do is the skin. So again, I'm just going to go over here. This time I don't have a colour in mind, so that looks a nice colour. It might be a bit pale, so let's just see. Oops. Just click. Now this looks like it's going to go over the whole lot because it's taking too long. Oh yeah, so we've got a gap somewhere and it's also very much pinker than it looks. So we're looking at maybe not so not so dark and maybe a bit less peachy. Let's try that one. But first of all, actually, I think we need to zoom in and work out why we why we got a flood fill there, a proper full on flood fill. So where have we got our uh, hair? It's the hair, look. If you look here, there's a gap, I think, there. And then you go right up, and there's a gap here. There's quite a few little gaps just around. So, okay, let's try that. And then we're going to go to the bucket tool, and we're going to see a... That seems to have solved the problem, but I need to zoom out to see what the colour looks like because that far zoomed in, I really can't tell whether it's the right tone or not. And of course the other problem is on the screen, it looks one colour and when you print it, it's going to look another colour. Oh, and the thing I've just realised is we've got white eyeballs, <laughs> so we need to lock those up as well. Nice, so I'm going to then take that tone and I'm just going to go a little pink here. And I'm going to pink up that. Let's try that colour for her lips. Nice. And then even darker inside her mouth. Like so. I think that looks really sweet. Now let's do her eyes. Now I think a nice blue. Oh, that's a nice blue. Let's try that one. Yep. I think that looks really pretty. So, oh, very nice coming together isn't it okay so the next thing I'm going to need to do is to tidy up the hair because oh, there's some gaps so we're going to need to go back to our paint brush and our dark color that we picked out from her eye and then I'm going to zoom right in and just check all the bits of the hair because I think we're going to need to be sure that there are no gaps so that when we do this that it's got completely nothing that's going to escape. <laughs> okay so I've gone round all of that and I think it's all secure but we'll find out um, and next thing we need to do is pick a colour. Now I think with the blue eyes I'd like to go kind of blonde not yellow <laughs> so uh, green I mean well, that looks quite a nice colour. I quite like that. Let's to try that one. Oh, that's a better colour, isn't it? Okay, and start filling in some of these sections that are a bit finer over this side and her ponytail or pigtail. Like that. So now, all I need, I think, is the balloon and we're done so I think it'd be really nice to bring the blue and the red up to the balloon so obviously we've got to have a red heart so now you can pick up the colours that you've used before so just click on your colour swatch there and then use the little colour picker click on there and it picks up the red that you've used there and then we're just going to use this now I don't know how good this is oh brilliant okay and then we're going to use the two blues so I'm going to go dark blue in the middle I think so I'm going to take that pick up my blue, fill that in and then I'm going to go and pick up my pale blue and fill those two sides in and then we've also got to do the little balloon piece there so I want then my dark for the inner part of the little balloon just in there and now all we need to do is print her out. Okay, so I finished um, and printed that out and I finished the card and as you can see, you can make it into, I think, a really delightful looking card and that's the 
printed picture and I think that looks so effective and it's just a different way of achieving a similar result uh, you know a different way of getting really a coloured image and just gives a different look and what I did here was I printed it out then I cut my image out using my Nestability's Matting Basics a and B curved matting basics A2 and I used the smaller one for the picture and then a bigger one the bigger one for the red mat so one for the biggest one from both of those I then took these X-cut nesting heart dies which have got a bit mixed up and I cut a load of hearts out I put the heart around the I'm sorry and I put the little heart in there I cut that out in the red and these in the red and I don't know if you can just see on top of the blue and there was a red as you may recall there was a red heart and I just stuck another one on there I've put that one at the bottom so I think that looked really cute I've matted it red layer and then I just corner chomped it at a quarter inch then I took this kind of denim blue layer these were all american crafts cardstock and i popped that through this sue wilson creative expressions cascading hearts embossing folder and then i just took the uh, gilding wax and just rubbed over it it was in like a pearless just a pearl and i again i'm not sure you can catch it in this light but i've done some photos so you'll be able to see it in those okay and then lastly i took these beautiful spellbinders decorative lattice swirls one of each in the red and just popped them coming out from each side and I think they look so effective and then last but last but last I put these two little pins in there so everything is flat except for my little girl who I just very slightly 3d and then lastly on the inside I just took a piece of the scrap just to give it a little bit of decoration on the inside so really that's what we did and actually it was quite a simple card to finish off quite enjoyable cutting all these things up sticking them through the grand caliber and i hope that you like the finished result as much as i do and i'd love to hear your comments about what you think about the digital coloring and about the card itself and i will see you all again next time thanks for watching he bye says he's not afraid to love me so i am i I picture everything going smooth as can be, but that's a lie And it always ends up that it's always my fault Cause I always mess up and it's you that I call Who forgot to mention that love isn't always a walk in the park Who misplaced the memory Oh